Hey, it's Bruce, author of Freedom's Quest on Amazon, and the sequel, End of Empire. Thought I would uh, try a shorter version of the video I just recorded. So, um, about four times a year I get emails and their government stings. And, um, that may sound like I'm just simply really paranoid, <laughs> which which may be the case. <laughs> but here's where the um, sometimes I'm uh, it's actual stings. So I have two websites: kayakingksc.com and petturkeys.com. And so this, the the government stings come in the manner of, two, of requests for two forbidden items. So um, let's do the turkeys first. So in the state of Florida, it's against the law to own the Osceola wild turkey. Um, you can own the its cousin, the eastern wild uh, turkey, which is from basically from Gainesville North. Because you can own those because the hatcheries sell them. But you can't own Osceola's. So um, I'll, get, I'll get requests for Osceola turkeys. And I have it on my website. No, I don't have any Osceola's. I got about nine different types of turkeys. No Osceola's. So the, the, the request usually comes like this. It goes, uh, hey, uh, it's an email. And there it says, we have a farm out in Christmas and uh, we got 10 acres and we want some uh, wild Osceola turkeys. So, um, you know, I have to say no. Not only do I not have any Osceolas, but it's um, been proven by the game departments across the United States that if you release turkeys into the woods that haven't been trained by wild mothers, wild hens, they're just gonna die or get eaten or something so um no i don't have any osteolas and i'm not going to release sorry i'm driving i'm not going to release anything in the woods to just be murdered by a bobcat so okay um one of the more clever um sting attempts recently and it, it try it was uh tugging at your heartstrings this guy emails emails me and he says uh, i run a boy scout camp and i and um the Ocala National Forest, and I want some Osceolas for um, to to educate the children. Well, what a noble cause, you know. But I was, you know, of course, I was thinking, dude, the Ocala National Forest is loaded with Osceolas. Anyway, you know, I had to tell him no, I don't have any Osceolas. And the guy, the guy, uh, super nice over the email. He, and he goes, look, I got a, he says, I have a compound with a 12 foot fence. And, and he, and he sent me that picture of the fence and I just shook my head like, well, you're, I don't know. Are you sitting in some office in Miami with this stupid sting? Because, um, so I had to tell him, I said, dude, any turkey other than a broad breasted is going to go over that 12 foot fence in a blink of an eye. So what are you thinking? Well, he was thinking it's the sting, right? So um, I offered him. I, ha I happen to have some broad-breasted birds. That that's the kind of grocery store. They can't fly. And I offered the birds to him at no price. So the kids will love them. So not only did I not get a, a no or an F U silence. You know, the sting didn't work. The guy moved on. All right. So um, the second the second government stings I try to um, get pretty common. So on my kayaking KSC website, I have a lot of arrowheads. And um, many of them were found after hurricanes. And, um, and most of them were uh, pictures only. Because um, there's a... There's laws in the state of Florida and the United States, and they go like this. Any artifact, any 
artifact under the water belongs to the state of Florida. Period. I mean, unless it's on federal property, then it's a little different. But generally speaking, anything under the water belongs to the state. So you can take a picture, that's about it. And the other thing is, um, if you're on federal land, state land, or any of the, any of the wildlife preserves, uh, there's zero, you cannot pick up an artifact. So I take pictures, and then if it's something special, I'll contact Fishing Game or somebody. But it, it, generally speaking, no. Um, stuff just stays on the ground, photos only. So I try to educate people about the rules, the laws on my website. Don't pick this stuff up. It'll burn you. Um, try to educate, you know, like, for example, um, uh, blue jay feathers are illegal to pick up. Who knows that? It's a stupid law. That's beside the point. You gotta, um, gotta know the laws. So, um, one of the more, um, oh, by the way, if you happen to have an artifact that they suspect came from a burial area, um, the government is allowed to come in and confiscate every thing in your house they feel like confiscating. That's the law. In your vehicle, too. So, um, you know, I get, I get questions for arrowheads all the time, and so not only do I not sell any arrowheads, or hardly pick, them in the, pick any up, it's pictures only, and I, you know, I say no, but um, the really sometimes the, the stings are clever and sometimes they're pretty stupid. But one of the really interesting ones, the last one, was a guy um, contact excuse me contacted me on the website uh, via the email, and it was very effusive on how much he loved the website, the kayaking website, and. I talk. I have a couple treasure stories, gold stuff, and um, he had a lot of knowledge. And as a matter of fact, he told me about a book. It's called um, "Forbidden Treasure: West of the Bulls," and it's about the gold and silver on Kennedy Space Center before it was a uh, federal property. But the guy, you know, there was we we talked for a long time, but it was. There was always something off, you know, and um, you know, he was trying to get me to take a metal detecting up at Apollo Beach, that's up on uh, play, play on the beach, Canaveral National Seashores, or Merritt Island Wildlife Refuge, and I absolutely did not even ever offer him to take him fishing out at Space Center. It was just like, there's something, this is way off, you know. So, um, the dude kept hinting and hinting and hinting and hinting for me to take him somewhere. You know, finally I said, no. Well, first I said, you cannot beat thermal infrared imaging. Cannot beat it. No. <laughs> you gotta go to jail. I'm not taking, I'm not doing it. I already know you, you can't beat it. And um, it's kind of interesting when I finally told him that emphatically done not an F you not a so long not a goodbye now I'll talk to you later done he moved on to the next thing so I thought that was kind of interesting um, anyway I finish this up what's the rules don't pick up any artifacts and you're never never going to beat thermal infrared imaging <laughs> Hey, uh, Bruce out. Give me a, hey, give me a uh, book review on Amazon. That's Freedom's Quest and End of the Empire. Out.